Hello to all you Geminis! Hello Geminis and welcome to this monthly horoscope for April. April 2013. What is going on for Geminis? Well, in this month I will be um, focusing a lot on the lunar eclipse that's, that is going on. And why is that? Because first of all it's important, uh, it's an important event that is happening. And secondly, it is always a building up of a couple of weeks before and a couple of weeks after the lunar eclipse. That is happening on the 25th of April at 5 degrees of Scorpio. So the moon will be in Scorpio and the sun will be in um, Taurus. So uh, I'll, I have made a video, a separate video of the eclipse. So I'll put the link underneath so you can see um, what this eclipse is all about on a more detailed level, a more general level as well. But for you Geminis, what is, um, uh, what is happening? Of course, you've got Jupiter still in your sign. Um, uh, take advantage of that. It means that for a lot of Geminis, there is expansion going on in some sort of way, especially when you've got your ascendant in uh, Gemini, but also if you've got your sun, or our moon in Gemini it really means expansion uh, on your life path that you are uh, that you are taking or on an emotional level when it is your moon. Now, um, this, the, the, there is um, the Venus and the Sun and Mars will be uh, transiting from Aries to Taurus. And um, for you, the, the month starts with an emphasis on the, uh, on the 11th house, which is your friends, maybe more interaction with friends, uh, more thinking about your aspirations and wishes, but then comes the emphasis on your 6th and your 12th house. And this is what I want to talk about the most because this is uh, uh, considering the eclipse. Now, the flavor of the eclipse, so in general, that has to do for, it has a meaning for everyone, of course, is uh, very interesting. It's letting go of tension suddenly. So suddenly there will be release of tension, but there will be sadness involved. And I think this is very recognizable. It's a, it's a positive, um, it's a positive eclipse but there is sadness involved as well. So, and everyone can think of situations that, um, uh, maybe situations that are a problem that has been going on for quite a while, maybe for weeks, maybe for months or years, and all of a sudden it's resolved. And of course, a part of you says, wow, I'm, I'm released, I'm happy, I'm content, I'm satisfied. But that can be another part that says, I'm a bit sad about that. So there's nothing wrong with it, but um, that is a flavor of the, um, uh, of the, uh, the eclipse. And for you, the, sec the, the sixth house and the twelfth house is, is very interesting house uh, if you are interested in spotting your blind spots and um, if you are interested in um, making your health physical health, but also um, psychological health, if you want, want to make it better. Also interesting, if you want to get rid of bad habits, because the sixth house is about your day-to-day -day routines, and maybe you're having some bad habits. It's also about work, the sixth house. So all of this is happening um, with a constellation that is very challenging. Uh, there is a Mars-Saturn opposition involved. And what is this? So Mars is in Taurus in your 12th house, doing its work to, to spot your blind spots, and it's opposing uh, Saturn uh, in Scorpio. So, um, and that is your um, sixth house, your, your house also of the day-to-day -day work. So whatever you are identifying with too much, and probably for some Geminis it will be work, if you are too much identifying with that, you will get into trouble. Um, so the, the, the key word here is the awareness. The awareness that you're not all that role of, uh, of work. And um, there is more to it than, than only that. For other Geminis, it will have to do with old patterns that are not working anymore. Or old habits that just have come 
um, that you realize because this is really about a release of something. So you realize you have to stop. And you realize you have to, yeah, it can be a simple habit of smoking and, and suddenly something happens and it makes you realize this has to stop and you do it. But there's also sadness involved because, hey, uh, you missed the moments when you had your cigarette, something like that. You know, fill it in yourself, of course, but this is the flavor that is happening uh, for this month. And um, it's, it's, of course, for all of us, very interesting if we can release some of the of the problems that we were having and um, it, it, it can mean that it all of a sudden it, it gets released and you're a bit shaken up about it and that that can be uh, causing a bit of sadness but it, it's nothing um, negative now this opposition or this eclipse is very much favored by Neptune uh, Neptune in uh, in your 10th house of, um, of Pisces so it could be, again, uh, an emphasis on that work that you do understand that you have to let go a little bit of that um, and, and, and you will do that. Or uh, it can also mean Pluto is also very supportive to this uh, eclipse and um, because Pluto is in, in Capricorn and that is your eighth house. It, it's the house of transformation. So Pluto in, is in itself transformation. It's in the house of transformation and it will make you understand why this, um, uh, this eclipse, the meaning of it, why this is so needed. You know, we all have situations that we wait too long in order to transform them. We wait until 12 o'clock or we even wait un until it's too late. Now is the time to open the eyes and to be aware of it. And Pluto is just saying, hey, there is good stuff about transformation. You know, it's making you a different person. It's making you a better person and it's making you a more real person. So um, very interesting indeed. Your ruler is also not going retrograde or anything. It's going direct in Aries which is in that 11th house. So you're really also thinking about, um, so it's for the whole month in that area of life, uh, in Aries. So you're also thinking about um, the good things and the hopes and the dreams that you have and the new fresh aspirations that you can have because that release has happened. So um, a bit of a challenge because uh, the, this, this eclipse is, um, uh, the, the Saturn Mars things is going on and especially the Saturn in, in the sixth house can make your day-to-day -day routine very heavy and also work you know that maybe you're not getting the uh, uh, the knocking on the shoulder so to speak but um, it is really in the end a very uh, liberating um, liberating eclipse so if you want to know more about it check out the uh, other link I wish you all the luck with the month of April, you uh, Geminis, and wish you all the best. Bye-bye.